Hello there. Welcome to day one of our restorative yoga challenge. Thank you for tuning in for this challenge that I'm presenting with Kalindi Dinifer of On Court, Off Court and Foldable Yoga Mat. It's our hope that you practice restorative yoga with us this week so that you can see the benefits that yoga has to offer. So whether you're a tennis player, a pickleballer, or maybe you're just looking forward to a little more self-care, yoga and restorative yoga really is for everybody. If you want to learn a little bit more about the challenge, please check out our Instagram pages. And if you practice along and interact with us this week, you might have a chance at winning some of these restorative yoga tools, including the foldable yoga mat you'll see me using throughout this series. With that said, all you need for your practice today is a mat and a blanket. And you'll probably also find a timer useful once you get set up on the pose so that you can really relax and let go and not have to worry about how much time you've spent in the pose itself. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started today and I'll show you our very first pose of the week. Okay, so today on day one, we're gonna start off with a very mild chest opener. I'm hoping that it's gonna feel mild and that it's gonna feel great. At home, you might use a folded blanket as I have here. I'll show how to use it with the blanket and then I'll show how to use it with the foldable yoga mat. I'm actually using the foldable yoga mat today along with the get a grip mat as a base. These are some of our prizes for our uh, giveaway this week if you interact with us online. So as you see, I have this folded blanket and you can play around with the thickness of the blanket that works for you. And I'm gonna sit in front of my folded blanket so that my hips are on the mat, not on my blanket. I'm gonna hope that when I land, I want the back edge of this blanket to meet the bottom edge of my shoulder blades so that all of that upper back will be resting on the ground. So let me show you how I do that. I use my hands, I lower myself down, and in the first few moments I adjust, so sometimes my hips slip up onto the blanket, I can adjust a bit until I get that blanket right where I like it. So notice how I'm keeping my knees bent. My arms can open out at a T. They can also come into a cactus-like shape. And so that's one way you might practice this pose. Option number two is to use a foldable yoga mat. So I'll show you how we use that. This unique mat has multiple ways in how it folds. So for today, I'm gonna to fold it in about three times to create that same lift that we just had with the blanket. So again, I'm gonna sit in front of my folded mat. I'm gonna slowly recline. I'm gonna take a couple moments for adjusting. Again, back of that fold meeting the bottom edge of my shoulder blades. I open my arms. If it feels too intense, I could also place my hands on my belly. And I'm gonna suggest that you set your timer for two to 10 minutes. And the idea here is to let go into the support offered, to breathe into the sensations of the pose, and just really be with the body, the breath. Doesn't mean it's gonna be easy and just see if you can allow for that opening through the front of the chest, an area that's notoriously tight for tennis players and holding that racket out in front of us. And so you'll set your timer to your desired amount, maybe start low with that two minutes, maybe build up, give that a try and let us know how this felt for you in the comments below, interact with us online, especially if you're new to yoga or new to restorative yoga, we'd love to know what your experience is. And please check out day two of the challenge by subscribing to Play Tennis Practice Yoga and On Court, Off Court. We've got practices all week. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you on day two of the challenge.